Okay guys, it's Seth here at Q Equipment 05, and this is a uh, specs review of a Caterpillar 953C. This particular machine is a year 1996, so this is one of the first machines that they made in this series. And we're going to walk around and just look at the major components and uh, talk about the machine a little bit. So this machine has over a two yard bucket. Um, with replaceable segments in between the teeth. It's nice because uh, you can replace them when they go bad and you don't have to uh, worry about your bucket edge just being worn down and having to actually re-weld a whole new edge on. The teeth, are, the teeth uh, segments are actually replaceable too in the corner points. That's the bucket. There's two main cylinders that raise the Loader arms up here. These cylinders are uh, very heavy duty. We always look to make sure that the pins don't have major play in them, the main pins especially. This is the main tilt uh, uh, cylinder for the bucket. As you can tell, everything is very heavy duty on this machine. Lots of heavy duty welding. Next we'll go to the undercarriage. The undercarriage uh, consists of the grouser bars, the chain, You've got the pins and bushings up underneath there. That can get worn down. Rollers, your sprockets, and your idlers. Which on this machine are all in very nice shape. Grouser bars are basically new and the rest of the undercarriage is in very nice shape as well. Have some compartments here. This is your compartment for the front end of the engine and filters and everything inside here with the instrument panel and some other stuff in there. It's your oil fill, oil check. Here's your back door, These are just push button panels that open up, hinges. This is the back end of your engine. You can see inside here is your muffler. It goes down there. It goes up to the muffler there. This flips open. That's a little bit of a toolbox. And that can act as a step if you need to get up there to where the air filter is. It's a rear bumper and a hitch. As you can tell there. Underneath of the machine is very heavy duty. As you can tell, there's metal pans. These are actually bent up a little bit there, but this keeps the machine from getting uh, beat up too bad underneath and keeps it from any large uh, sticks or anything from sticking up underneath the machine. So you have two doors, one on each, or four doors actually, two on the rear, two on the front on each side, one on each side, in the back and the front. Alternator, other there. This flips down as well. This is your battery. This is where your batteries are. You can see there. And there's obviously two parts of the undercarriage, two sides with all the same components. You have steps here. This is to get up into the machine. The serial number plate on this machine is always right here underneath the uh, left side door if you're sitting in the machine. They made, uh, I think, two different series at least of this machine, a 2ZN and I believe a BBX, which was made in the uh, early to mid to the late part of 2000 BBX series. The 2ZN went up to like 2003. And now for inside the cab. 
This is a factory cab on this machine, so everything is, as I said, how it comes from the factory. You have your lights, windshield wipers, you have a horn, and then for inside, you have a nice seat. This is a pretty comfortable seat to sit in. It's ride suspension, so you don't have a bumpy ride, considering you have a metal undercarriage you're driving in. This is your front uh, panel. This has gauges like your oil temperature, your fuel levels, and some other gauges there, and your buttons for your lights, um, and some other stuff, your uh, preheat. There's a cigarette lighter, of course. This is your indicator light right there, and all your other indicator lights. This is your controls for the actual uh, forward and reverse of the machine. You have your throttle. Uh, this is your horn. You have your speed control, which is variable. You push this down, you go forward and backwards. You can control your speed by that. And then you control your left to right with these foot pedals. This is your actual controls for the loader linkage of the machine, for the loader part of the machine. You have this, which brings the machine up and down, I believe, and this, which tilts it forward or backwards. On the newer machines, there's actually a joystick on some of them, and they kept making these as well, I think. But the joystick actually is uh, is pretty nice as well on the newer machines. This is your temperature control for inside the cab to uh, keep it heated with your defrost and everything else. Radio, I believe that came comes standard with your uh, with the cab machine. There's a mirror, and here's some other, these are for your windshield wipers, I believe, the light right there, and there's your air filter, and then here's just some uh, documentation on the machine, another serial number plate, and other uh, numbers for the machine, the engine. In this machine, they put a 3116 Caterpillar engine in it. In the newer machines, I believe they put a 3126B engine. I believe that's the model of it. Um, but they had a few variances in this machine for the engine. And now we'll start it up. As you can tell, it beeps, all the gauges go up and back. Then you can start it. So that's a uh, basic review. If you have any information on this machine, I'm sure I'll let a lot of you out there are way more knowledgeable in this machine than I am. Then I look forward to uh, hearing any comments from you in the comment uh, section below. And uh, please like the video, share it, and favorite it if you uh, if you like it. Thank you very much, and have a great day.